Hey, what's up YouTube? Um, I'm just here to show a couple things with OSX Yosemite in terms of bugs, um, glitches, uh, stuff that uh, developers are kind of dealing with. Maybe to prevent some of you from upgrading your main only Macintosh. I mean, I have a few, so this is a developer MacBook. This is what I use it for so I can deal with the bugs, but a lot of you are updating your only MacBooks or Mac Pros or whatever you're running and uh, it, it's not really a great idea. Uh, so the first one's pretty obvious. I mean if you've been looking around my screen while I've been talking here, um, I'm on OS X Yosemite, the very first developer preview, and my battery is zero. <laughs> now, <coughs> sorry there, I've been kind of dealing with a cough. Um, my battery's not actually at zero. I've got a good battery in the MacBook, but uh, there has been some issues. Um, with the battery not displaying or even properly charging. I mean, I noticed that the an SMC reset kind of set it right for a little while and then it screws up. So anyways, my MagSafe port, is, you can't see, but it's plugged in right now. If I unplug it, see, it'll fix it. Plug it back in, and I'm fine. So that's just one of the bugs uh, with OSX Yosemite I've noticed. Uh, there's some power management issues in the very first developer's preview. So uh, as for battery time, my battery is not at 100% health, so I can't really give you guys a stable how good is it. It's not the greatest. So if you're expecting a lot of life out of your MacBook, uh, OSX Yosemite is not the way to go. Anyways, a uh, second thing I've noticed, uh, just right off the bat, and, and again, this doesn't matter, but uh, in your launch pad here, every time I reorganize or I make folders or I put everything the way I want it, one page instead of all over the place like you see right here, I'll leave, I'll come back. I don't know what I do, but it seems like within a few minutes or if I make any serious system changes or even if I restart my Mac, <laughs> excuse me, it'll come out to the default layout here in my launch pad. So no matter how many times I organize the launch pad, even if I spend 20 minutes on it, uh, it'll always revert back to default. And it's really annoying. So you can't really organize any of your applications. Uh, that is something you'd also have to deal with. I mean, that's just visual, but uh, there is an issue with Launchpad. So um, beyond that, the new Launchpad is nice. I mean, I've gone over it in a few videos before with the um, folders that adjust, and you can continuously add more and more. As you can see here, like on the iPads, you can do page per page. Um, all right, so another thing I've noticed is Safari stability. Um, as for Safari stability, it's not great. <laughs> uh, and another thing is Java is not supported. Now, I did want to show you guys one thing. I was able to find an early alpha build of Java 8, I believe. Yeah, Java 8 version update 820. I'm going to show you guys. It will natively install on OS X Yosemite. So you are able to use it. It, as you can see here, the control panel is taking a long time to get up. So it's kind of, it's yeah, see I have update 20, which will still own natively. If you didn't upgrade from Mavericks to Yosemite, you'll still have the Java. Um, you shouldn't run it. It's not complied for Yosemite, and I noticed it causes a lot more crashes in Safari. You should be running a version of Java that is meant for the operating system you're working on. So this was a very, very early, as you can see, um, very early release of Java 8, uh, update 20, so this is pretty far up in the development. It's an alpha, so it's not stable at all. I mean, I have tested it, which I can show you both Java and Flash working in my browser. Another thing, um, for the most part, Safari and the native um, app management for like saving power and stuff like that, you know when you go into your YouTube and if you move from one tab to another, it'll pause the video, continuously playing the audio in the background but not wasting resources. I've actually noticed that sometimes the plugin fails or just straight out crashes. Uh, I was able to install Flash Player natively, the latest update 14 point, of course it doesn't say here, right, right here. So not being built in, Safari is recognizing the extensions. So. I am able to use them. 
but here we go. Another thing um, for, I had to get an ad blocker, wouldn't install. I had a few other issues getting the extensions to install. Notifications are working, but sometimes they'll crash. Um, when I, and what I mean by that is Safari will actually fail. I'll get a little, um, it looks like a cax icon for some of you who uh, or would know what that looks like. It'll say that um, there was an error connecting to the iCloud service or whatever for Safari. I have to log it and post in the comments later on what exactly it was, but uh, let's see if I can find some here. It looks like I cleared most of the notifications. So they should be showing up in here from 9 to 5 Mac App Addict. I download blog Mac rumors. So there's more and more of these are coming available as we, you know, as it opens up. A few other things I noticed too. Um, so stop the power saving. So this is the feature I said that isn't functioning kind of for me. Um, one thing I did was test my HTML5, which I noticed Safari is getting a higher rating for. There we go. And as you can see too, even loading in Google, I mean the page should have rendered instantly. It's freezing up on me and it does this quite a bit. Sometimes I'll breeze through. So Safari still has some lag which uh, I'm sure they will work on here. But as you can see, so this is correct. I'll help the site out with that. Uh, we'll go compare to previous versions or what even. And you can see here again, as we're using the HTML5, it's, it's starting to lag out. So Safari is not stable. Um, let me see if I can show you this. This is Google Chrome or Chromium that I like to use. I don't like to use the, the native builds of Google Chrome. And you can't use it. <laughs> See, it just gets very angry at you. If you go into your preference menu here, should crash on me. There it goes. So Google Chrome or Chromium, if you're looking for a third-party browser or expecting to be able to use a third-party browser in OS X Yosemite, uh, you won't be able to use a lot of the functions. I haven't been able to install extensions, and uh, it's, it's like the websites load. They seem to actually render better <laughs> than um, than they are on Safari. But as for plugins here, like if I go to run the Flash plugin, it'll work because I'm doing a video, but most of the time it doesn't work. So anyways, um, those are just a few out of the many. I have many other bug itches, but I'm sure this video has probably lasted long enough. I have a few with iTunes, but we are seriously lacking an update to iTunes for Yosemite, so I can't really get into complaining about that yet. Um, anyways, so like I said before, these builds are for developers uh, using a beta. Another thing with uh, Xcode 6 in the beta playground, if you if you use uh, so if you use if you're a developer, if you're a coder, let's say you go into C++, we know Objective C is you know native to even Swift, so it's backwards compatible. So say you go far that you want to do instead of an NS string you want to do like you want to type in a C it'll actually crash playgrounds so there's a few stability issues with Xcode 6 so if you're a developer and you're not strictly coding with Swift you're still using Objective C for your applications you're currently working with 7.11 you're not looking into iOS 8 there's no reason you should be on any on, uh, on any of these builds sorry like I said, again, this is just another Macintosh I have. This is what it's for. It's summertime. This is what developers we get at the summer. So to really deter some of you from using OS X Yosemite until at least the later builds. I mean, you guys, this is in an earlier beta build. There's a lot of things that are still broken. So thanks for watching. Um, I really hope this kind of enlighten some of you to the issues Yosemite is facing right now. They are not showstoppers whatsoever, but there's a lot more to it than I even showed here, like I said. It would be best for a lot of you who just have one Macintosh to hang back. And I mean, for us developers, it's just an opportunity for us to start learning with Swift, 
uh, making new applications. So come the fall when this is ready for the public, we'll be also ready to introduce some really cool applications to the public. So anyways, thanks for watching the video. Uh, follow more of my Yosemite videos as the new developer previews come out, um, updates come out. I have full access to the Dev Center, so I'm always digging into what Apple's got uh, available for us. And I, I love to play. I love to, you know, use what features they give us. So it's, it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it wasn't too long and painful for you. But that's OSX Yosemite. My thoughts on the current issues and stability state. So... Cheers. Have a good day.